Jesus, if that if this gets any smaller, I don't think we I don't know what we're gonna do. If this road gets any smaller, we can't we can't go forwards and I don't know if we can go backwards either. We're gonna be literally we're gonna be stuck. I am not going down there. That was the biggest error, one of the biggest errors I've ever made in this van. I just want it to end. Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, a married couple who are attempting to live and travel full time in our converted removals truck camper van in the UK. We are currently doing an almost full circular route of Britain, starting and ending in Kent. Last week we left the beautiful Lake District National Park and saw some more epic film and TV locations, as well as finding some truly incredible places to camp for the night. This week our plans changed dramatically, as there are problems with our camper, issues with the kids' holidays and some serious logistical problems with the size of our van it's going to be a scary ride so please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let's see what adventures we go on this week in morgan our removals van hi guys welcome back to the channel wow so much has happened since we last saw you um in the last episode we were traveling from the lake district all the way down to the midlands to attend a family funeral which was really sad but a very very good send-off as well and now we're back on the road again and we had a huge conundrum in the last episode, which was that we realised that by the time we get all the way to the bottom of Wales, the kids will have broken up from school, which means that we will be entering Devon and Cornwall in the busiest time of the year. And if anyone who's ever been there knows that if that place gets busy, it's a nightmare. You spend most of your time in traffic and you guys know that we're on the road all the time and travelling and seeing lots of stuff. You guys agreed with us and that we've actually now, instead of doing Wales first, we're doing Wales after Devon and Cornwall. So we're now, do, we're now on our way to Devon and Cornwall where we were supposed to be. Last episode, what you didn't see was Janine and I were lying in bed and having a cup of tea and once we turned all the cameras off and we heard a grunting noise and then a big gush of water and loads of water came leaking out all over the floor. Something's up with our water system, so we're gonna go, we're actually driving to Bristol first to go to Bobble Vans, and they're the guy that guys that supply our boiler system in our van as well. So they've agreed to have a look at the system and see what's up with it, and we're going there first. So lots is going on, and hopefully in this video, the water system is going to be fixed and we're going to be on our way to Devon and Cornwall and then in a few weeks time we're going to be going to Wales. So off we went to go and see the guys at Bobble in Bristol. We pulled up and they came in and looked at the water system. It took them no time at all to fix the problem which was great. Ed's just gone off to go and get a couple of tools. He's fixed the problem definitely for the next couple of weeks. Um, in just less than three weeks time we're actually going to come back and he wants to um, sort of... Uh, tidy it up a bit in there and sort of organize it so that we can see what's going on what pipe goes to what and all the rest of it because um, there's quite a few electrical wires mixed with rubber wires and all that sort of business so Ed's doing that for us in a couple we've booked that in with him in a couple of weeks time um, and yeah and then that's going to really help us when we go into Europe because then we'll know what we're looking at identify the problems quickly plumbing there's all, no matter what where you are what you do there's always issues with plumbing um, and you have to expect it when you when you've got water especially in a moving vehicle so um that's really cool so we're good for now and it'll definitely be good for europe as well feeling relieved that it turned out to be a quick job we finally hit the road heading south liam got hungry so we nipped into some services for a bite to eat before continuing our journey to a place in east devon called seaton this will be the start of our just less than three week tour of cornwall and devon and we cannot wait oh my god it's raining it's that real sort of spitty rain that's just horrible that soaks you through but oh my god how amazing is this park up um the sea's right over there over this wall and it's just oh, it's so nice to be back on the beach i can smell like salt in the air and um i can hear the sea i i mean the weather's atrocious yeah it's really really horrible so i'm gonna get back here but yeah i i am so excited to be back on the beach <sighs> i just wish it wasn't raining you putting the kettle on kettle's on I'm we just... having another party in the van the thing is because we've not been in, a, in the van for a couple of days it's like it doesn't feel like ours i'm trying to make it sort of a bit more personable do you know what i mean make it a bit more of a nice environment the, the pl place is a bit of a tip because the leak left all of the washing up the we've got all of our clothes that have been launderized and um 
But we got our water back! Yeah. yeah! Such a nice feeling to know you've got running water and everything's working. Everything's working as it should be. <laughs> it's such a nice feeling. Since the weather was so miserable, we decided to chill at home and read a book in bed. Not so rock and roll, but definitely cosy in the rain. I'm going back up to make my last stand. I'm gonna dust it off with my own hands. Black lizard coming. Old man keep running. Good morning and today we have woken up in Seaton and what a gorgeous park up it was. It's a lovely little seaside town um, with beach huts lining the seafront with white cliffs either end. It's just really pretty. We managed to park here last night and there's parking all the way down the street. So it's really uh, good for us, good for van lifers. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice place and you get to park right on the beach. The sun's out this morning, it's lovely and warm. There's a bit of a breeze in the air, but we're going to go for a walk anyway down the beach. They've got an old tram service here and I'm sure when I, when I googled Seaton to see what it's all about and see where, the, where we can park and stuff, that it was quite nice. It looked like a really old sort of seaside tram sort of thing. So um, I wouldn't mind checking it out before we go any further. With the visit on a tram in mind, we headed off down the beach to stretch our legs and grab a bit of exercise first thing. Seaton is a beautiful little town in an area of outstanding natural beauty. The beach is a mile long and is a lovely chilled out place to park for the evening. We headed off to check out this tram line. Oh yeah, two tickets please. I, I assume it's a round trip, right? Yeah. Are we on the pink one, Liam? I think we're on the pink one. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, I've never been on a tram before. This is the weirdest thing. This is the first time for you? Yeah, I've never been on one before. They're like really slim, delicate buses. And we're off. <laughs> Woo. We made our journey through Seaton on this cute little pink tram, stopping off for a coffee at a village halfway before completing the journey back to the start point. Overall, it took us a couple of hours and cost £12 each. The views and landscape was picturesque and great for spotting wildlife. White knuckle ride. <laughs> All jokes aside though, it's such a nice thing to go on these things. Like, I was thinking like, when we're driving down there that England's got, um, UK's got so much stuff like this all over the UK. And it's just, um, it's just quirky and just fun. Um, but not a white knuckle ride. So let's get back in the van for that. We headed back to the van to continue our journey to beer. Right, so we're going to leave now and we're going to go to a place called Beer. It's spelled exactly like beer, the drink. <laughs> And it's just on the other side of that rock there, on the other side of the cliff there. And then we're gonna get out and walk to the very, very end, that's called Beer Head. That's the mission now. Go to Tesco's, get some supplies, go and do that. And then we're gonna try and get, now the sun's come out, try and see a lot today whilst the sun's out. And try and get, if we can, the other side of Exeter, which is um, a bit of a faff because you've got to go back inland because it's a estuary to come back to the coast again. I think anyway, unless there's a bridge. That's what we're doing. Mission underway, we headed for beer, stopping for supplies on the way. We drove along the coastal route, which was lovely, but the roads are beginning to get very small. Making a few manoeuvres, we found somewhere to park. This is uh, Beer Head which is ironic because British people don't really like too much head on the beer. That's where we were parked last night. This is the little, little village of beer and it's absolutely beautiful. The contrast of the red cliffs with the white cliffs, just beautiful. There's even a little seat here to sit on to enjoy, enjoy it. Okay, so we're back at the van now. Man, beer is absolutely gorgeous. I never knew how nice it was. I just thought it had a quirky name. <laughs> yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Little cottages everywhere, flowers everywhere. Now we are gonna go for something to eat. Coincidentally, I had a couple of nice pubs there, didn't there as well? Yeah. Imagine having a crap pub in beer. <laughs> Disgraceful. Imagine a crap beer in beer. <gasps> Don't be wrong, and it, what, what a time to pick a week of no drinking, eh? No. Or a, a few weeks of no drinking. It's 
a proper challenge. Get some weight off. Sorry, beer, next time. So off we went to find a place to park and make some breakfast, a much more difficult task than we could have imagined. It's worse than the Lake District. Stay there. Oh, oh please, my God. stay there. I can't believe this is our only option to come down the tightest road known to man. There must be other options because um, HGVs need to get there. Yeah. We literally, literally are too big for this road, so we've had to divert a little bit, and still the roads are so tiny. Oh my God, I'm just clipping everything. Continue straight. Oh, I think we've got a few scratches now on the van. A bit annoying. Oh, and there's a car. The joy. It just seems like it seems like the bloody road's just getting narrower and narrower as it going along, like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> like one of those bloody perspective drawings. Jesus, if that if this gets any smaller, I don't think we I don't know what we're gonna do. We can't turn around. Now, do you know what my worry is? What? Guess. A car coming. Yeah. If this road gets any smaller, we can't we can't go forwards and I don't know if we can go backwards either. We're gonna be literally we're gonna be stuck. And if a car comes as well, I don't know what we're gonna do. As you can see from the Lake District last week when we were there. It was tight there, it was really tight, but this is so much worse. It's come in and it's overgrown just by that much more that it's almost not doable. And I'm worried, I mean. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> This we're getting, so we're getting bad. really badly scraped. I hate this. I really don't like this. I just want it to end and I want to get out of here. On, it doesn't help that we're running out of diesel as well. <sighs> I'm going to turn around. I, I am not going down there. I'm not. I am not going down there. That was the biggest error, one of the biggest errors I've ever made in this van, coming down that road. And I don't know how it went from a bit, a, an easy road, an all right road to a really bad road that quickly. What, do you want me to walk down there and see? No, because it's all like, if I take it steady. You're gonna go for it? It's right next to the A road and then we're done. That, that going back, will be just as bad. Oh just be a very, God. very slow one literally like driving in a forest and you just get to these beautiful little houses yeah i know something i haven't done for months and months is get um road lords on which is the app where you say how big you are and how tall you are most roads that we've been down have been fine width wise but height was the reason why we used to use this but we realized that most bridges we can get just about get under like 99% of the English ones. But now we need to know width wise where we can go and where we can't go because that was really bad. There's gonna be some horrible scratches down the side of our van from that. We continued our journey to a place called Sidmouth praying for bigger roads. We were lucky. We headed for a short stay car park by the beach for breakfast. Okay, so we've just pulled over in a car park in Sidmouth and um, we're not sure how long we can stay here for because the van's really big in this car park. Um, so, we're, but we're really hungry, so we're, we're going to pay for a ticket anyway, and I'm going to quickly make some food, and Liam's just going to check it out. I'm going to make a um, really nice chia pudding for me and Liam. We both really love them. We're trying to lose a bit of weight. We're trying to be healthy, and it's a perfect thing to have because you can just chuck loads of fruit in, and it's really nice. Cool, just had that wonderful chia pudding. Um, you know we like that. And uh, still hungry though. I was I fasted for 21 hours before that. So I'm looking forward to eating something a bit more substantial in a bit. Uh, but first, we're in Sidmouth. Um, I think this is one of the more better known um, South Devon or Devon. I don't know if we're we in East or South Devon now. South Devon. Maybe we're in South Devon now, I don't know. Um, places and uh, someone told us to go and check out Jacob's Ladder, whatever that is. I think that could mean a number of things. Um, so we're going to go and see what that is. And yeah, go and check out the beach. He's holding a bucket. He's a fake, but he's a mannequin. Is he? Yeah, look, he's 
sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a real person. Yeah, Tonji, from the side, he does look like oh, a real person. I know, it's just really weird. Let's go and check out the real person. <laughs> Ignoring the weird mannequin man, we headed down the beach to check out the red rocks and see what Jacob's Ladder is all about. Jacob's Ladder is a tall set of white wooden steps which leads from Sidmouth Beach up to Connaught Gardens. It was a surprise for us to climb the steps and end up in the most beautiful and well-kept gardens with loads of different courtyard areas, places to sit and a cafe within. The gardens are looked after by volunteers and after having a chat with them about what they're up to, they really know their stuff about gardening. We had a look around and headed through Sidmouth Town back to the van to then head off to Sandy Bay, a blue flag beach just west of Sidmouth. Can we park down here for, for the beach? Unfortunately not. Where, where do we park? So you can park anywhere off site and walk down. Yeah. Um, is it a private beach then? Is it not? Yeah. It's yeah. a private beach? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. but you're more than welcome to park off site and walk down, but unfortunately we can't let anyone drive on site. So we are really intrigued about this beach now. So um, we're going to leave, park up, and then uh, maybe cook something and then head back in to check out the beach. I'm absolutely starving. And when we finish, at least when we finished eating, we can go to the beach and um, this amazing magical beach that's so difficult to get to and it best be bloody good when we can go and walk off the food. I'm, I'm gonna cook up a storm for you. What are you making? Um, I'm making mushroom stroganoff. If you nice, that. Nice, yeah. Are you ready to eat a shed load of mushrooms? Yeah. Me too. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the tree. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. That's my mushroom stroganoff. It's, uh, it's so easy to do. Um, you just need, it's white wine. Uh, we had dairy-free creme fraiche. And um, yeah, it's just so simple. I'll put it, something in the description if anybody wants to make it, because it's so good. Um, something rough in the description until I've got to get some time. But yeah, cheers. <laughs> okay, so we are just about to wash up. Um, and I'm gonna dry up because there's no room up there really for two of us to be sort of hanging around. So I'm sat down here drying up. It's just started raining. So hopefully by the time we've finished drying up, it will finish raining and we can go down and see this blue flag beach. That we've heard so much about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just do the sorting out the back of the van first and see what happens. It was launch day of our previous YouTube video and we were live for an hour, waiting out the rain and saying hi to the viewers on the premiere. The rain eventually stopped so we went to check out the beach. Funnily enough, you can only access the beach via the Haven Holiday Park. After about half an hour's walk, we finally found the beach. Wow. <laughs> I was waiting to see your reaction to it. <laughs> It's like we built it up way too much in our heads. I was expecting this like... <laughs> Pristine. <laughs> Hawaiian beach. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's because we spent two hours waiting to get on it. I mean, it's still gorgeous. Yeah, it's still nice. You can't knock it. It's just, just a no, different picture in your head. Yeah. Right? It is nice. Oh, I love a little fire on the beach. Yeah. It just looked different at that angle. Yeah, we just saw all the green sludge, didn't we? Yeah. There's all that entertainment going on up there, roller discos and Burger King and Papa John's and stuff, but there's people like a family down here genuinely having a little fire with stones around it and their kids and stuff. That's what it's all about. Right. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. With the red rocks, the white sand and the green like grass grown in random patches all over it. I'd just like to clarify, when we came around the corner, all we saw was this green sludge. So that's why I was a little bit like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to look at the bright side of the <laughs> yeah. The testing eyes Yeah, they are. It's very pretty. Um, yeah, but when you turn around and you see that, uh, it's just incredible. We headed back to the van via the on-site amusement park where I beat Liam at a game of coconuts before driving in the dark to find our park up for the evening. Let's go find the park up. 
It's like it's like trying to find a park up in winter again, isn't it? With it being dark. <laughs> oh, I'm getting, I'm getting all the nostalgic. Don't. Rooting around for a car park in the dark. <laughs> we headed off along some more tiny roads to Exmouth, a place we've been recommended loads but never managed to go. We arrived quite late. Okay, so I jumped in the back of the van after parking up. Liam's gone to get the parking ticket if we need to or check out the situation. Um, and we are going to stay here for the night. It's actually a really good park up from or from what I can see already it's a good park up but we'll have to see in the morning. Um, it's right on the beach and I'm so happy. I was actually really tempted to go out on the beach just then but it started to rain. Um, I'm just in a bit of a mood to go running down a beach. You know when it's dark and you're at a beach and the beach is empty Sometimes I just feel like I just want to go running down the beach <laughs> but I'm not going to because it is raining and it is cold so instead I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> not quite as exciting. like out there today? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Is it? I mean it's not sunny, it's overcast but it's warm and soft lighting and I just think it's really and the nice. the beach is nice? Yeah the beach is so nice. Is it? It's it, honestly it is one of the nicest oh, beaches. Can we go for a walk or something and check it out? Yeah. Go on! Pick it up all. <laughs> good news, really good news. So I'm just looking at the map to see where we're going next. By the way, gonna be very difficult to leave this beach. This is absolutely amazing. Um, there's a leisure centre along the way that on the Park for Nights app says that you can go and use the showers for two quid a person. Really? If you fancy it. Yeah. Do you fancy smelling nice? Yes. Do you fancy being clean? That would be fun. I know we've got a shower on board, but you've got to have the showers, got to marry up with finding water and all the rest of it. So I think it's a great idea. I'm going to have one. Yeah. Let's all right, do it. Let's go. We headed off, leaving this beautiful beach to go take a warm shower in a leisure centre. I managed to wash and dry my hair, which is always a bonus, although this is the weirdest vacuum cleaner slash hand dryer hair dryer I've ever seen and totally made my hair go crazy. Okay, I've just come out of the leisure centre. My hair has gone absolutely nuts. Um, that hair dryer, oh my God, so weird. Such a weird hair dryer. Anyway, I'm about to get in the van and we're gonna go for a bite to eat. Okay, well, that was a wonderful shower. I probably spent 15 minutes in there just to make sure that I was squeaky clean because you never know when your next shower is coming from. Uh, unfortunately, we're leaving Exmouth, but the heavens have opened. Um, Exmouth is somewhere I would 100% return back to because it was probably the best place so far on the south coast for us um, on this trip. Now, we, as the heavens are open, we're going to go inland a little bit, past Exeter and to a place called Totnes. And Totnes is somewhere we've been to before and they've got a cafe there where I know we said we won't be going to cafes that do the best lunches, all-you-can-eat jobs. 
um, and we're just gonna go there, have a walk around, wait out the rain, and then hit back to the coast. Our overall mission to get this done so we can get back to Bristol within just over two weeks time, as you can probably agree, it's probably a very short amount of time to do the whole Cornish Devon coast, is we need to get past Torquay today, or at least get to Torquay. So that's the main aim, and we're off to do it now. Totnes. We've been here before and it's such a cool um, town and the cafe we're going to serves the best food. Um, really healthy, whole foods, all you can eat. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I'm so hungry. So they've got a new uh, parking system set up on these machine, uh, on the, in the car parks now. I've noticed it quite a bit. They're getting rid of the machines and they're making everything completely app based, which you know that the apps have been, uh, parking apps have been around for a while. Um, but something new on the apps as well is that now you um, you, you sign a little thing or you tick a box saying you allow this car park to take the maximum amount of money off you for a day, which is like £10 or whatever. You agree to that, they don't take the £10 off you, and then all you do is you go off and do your thing, and then when you want to get back in your car again and drive off to the next place, you've got to stop the session. And then they just charge you what the amount is for that time that you've been away for. So it's good and it's dangerous at the same time, um, is all I can say. I've already had it today, that other car park that we stopped at last night, where it was, the session kept on running and I forgot to stop it, um, even though we've, we've come all the way here. So um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Be careful, Ring, Ringo that is, that's Ringo app. We walked into the beautiful little quirky town of Totnes. We have been here before and absolutely loved it. The market runs every Friday and Saturday. It has many cafes and restaurants to choose from, plus some nice shops too. It reminds me a little bit of Glastonbury with a slight hippie feel to it. We headed off to the cafe which we were both really excited about. This place offers an all you can eat buffet of 99% plant based options each for £10. All whole foods and everything is delicious. We both piled our plates and enjoyed dishes such as dal, butter beans, noodles, couscous, roasted veg and loads more. We were stuffed. Okay, so we're back at the van and we are heading towards Torquay. We're not actually going to the centre of Torquay, we're going to go a little bit further on because we hear that the surrounding areas are really quite beautiful and we're hoping to see some lovely beaches as well. We just went straight through Torquay because it was absolutely heaving today. It's a sunny day and we didn't realise it was so busy. So we've decided to go further on um, and hit up another beach that we've seen that we like the look of. Oh my god. Oh no. Just more slim roads. Oh no. We're, we're not having much luck here, are we? No. Oh man, a lie. How are you going to turn I'm around? I'm going to have to reverse back. Can I turn around there? Should we ask this guy? Yeah. I'm going to have to reverse back. You're going right. to have to reverse. Do you want me to get out? No, just keep an eye out behind us if you can. That's two beaches now we haven't been able to get to. The first one was too busy and the second one was um, we were too tall to get under the bridge. And actually it was such a slim road we couldn't even drive up to the bridge because it was too sort of slim. Um, we wouldn't have been able to turn around or anything. So we're heading off now to find our third beach. Third time lucky. So that's three beaches out of three. The first one was busy. The second one, they had a bridge that was too low, so we couldn't even get down to it. This third one, once again, there's no parking space, it's too busy. So it looks like a few miles radius outside of Torquay is not good. You can't, it's very difficult to, uh, if it's on the, in the summer holidays, I wouldn't even bother trying. So now we're gonna go to one last one. We've got one last hope, and it's called Maidenstone Beach, and it looks amazing if we can park down there and get on the beach in the sunshine i'll be happy because it's get, it's really getting on as well so let's go and do that and see Grim hill it sounds like it's going to be steep oh shit we're going down the wrong you're going to have to back one. up all right down steep hill which sounds much worse <laughs> oh for god's sake i oh, know oh jeez. oh no i don't like this it's 
really steep in it. It's really steep. I mean, if it's too steep, you just won't make it. We went for it and eventually made it to the bottom. We parked and headed for the beach, buying a cup of tea from their cafe on the way. The beach was absolutely stunning and well worth the steep hill down, presuming we can get back up. God, it's so gorgeous. Like the red rocks have turned to like the sand red as well. So it's like an all red beach with gorgeous blue sea and green as well. Like the vibrancy of the red and the green on the rocks it just makes it really like spectacular, doesn't it? Yeah. So nice. <sighs> amazing. It really makes up for not going to those other two beaches or three beaches. This, this is amazing. This is. The, and, and actually what they just told us as well is it's pretty quiet like hardly anyone comes down here because it's a bit of an effort you have to go down steep street to get to it <laughs> um, i'm gonna go back up steep street now. yeah but there's a cafe on it and it's small bay it's beautiful the crystal clear waters it's just really nice spot on everything it's got everything It was time to leave so we headed off to find our park up for the evening. Luckily we made it out of there up the steep hill. It started chucking it down. We went to a few spots on park for night that now don't allow overnight parking. So ended up driving to Paynton to the seafront where we found a car park offering 24 hours stay for £8. The views are perfect and the beach is stunning with a pier at one end. Okay guys that's a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching, um, liking and subscribing and saying hello in comments. Um, make sure you join us next time because I'm really nervous about this, but we're gonna be going west and we're gonna probably be entering Cornwall at some point. Um, and our van is too big for, these, for a lot of these roads. There's been a lot of places that we've not been able to go to, actually because of height restrictions, um, as well as width restrictions. And uh, it, uh, yeah, I need to plan it better. I'm a bit nervous about it. Um, if anybody has any suggestions of any apps where you can put in the dimensions of your vehicle, GPS maps, um, that'd be really good. I don't think Google does it, um, or at least it doesn't, it's not doing it on our app. Um, yeah, if anyone's got those suggestions, that'd be great. We'll see you next time as we head into the rest of Devon and Cornwall. What we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Tonight, if you